welcome back to my channel my name is Erica and in today's video I wanted to share with you guys what my baby eats in a day so starting off my baby always nurses first thing in the morning he still nurses constantly throughout the day and this is his primary source of nutrition so I make sure to feed him um, at least 30 to 45 minutes prior to having any of his solid meals So starting off with breakfast, I am making Sammy's absolute favorite breakfast which is um, just some sautéed red onion and sweet mini peppers with a scrambled egg and he absolutely loves this. It's his favorite breakfast. Sammy doesn't like things to be plain. He likes for them to have flavor. And So I just wanted to share with you guys that this is what works for our family, it is what works for our baby. We're very pleased with our decision to go with baby led weaning. It has been a wonderful experience. He met all the signs of readiness at 6 months old. So we went ahead and got him started with baby led weaning. And I'll kind of touch on the things that made us choose baby led weaning over purees later on in the video. But I just wanted to um, kind of preface this video with the fact that this is what works for us and for our baby and that may not work for your baby and it's every parent's right to go ahead and choose how they want to feed their baby in whatever manner they want to feed their baby. Okay, so for lunchtime, we are actually sitting outside because it's a really nice day. It's like a little bit cloudy but not too bad so baby is just having some snacks i have some happy baby organic blue carrot and blueberry um, puffs and then i have these organic yogurt banana strawberry melts he really likes those and it's just a nice day so i just decided to be fun for us to come out here and i brought like his little um, play mat and a little toy for him. And we're just gonna hang out all day for a little bit. Okay, so next up is lunch. So I'm just gonna go ahead and prep a really simple lunch for him, but one of his favorite lunches. So what I have here is just some strawberries, bananas, and blueberries. So a really neat trick that I learned to get the strawberries all prepped for cutting is to just go ahead and take a regular straw and push that through the bottom of the strawberry and then that'll take out the core of the strawberry and also pop that stem right off and it makes it really easy to just go ahead and cut that in half or in quarters. And then I'm gonna go ahead and prep my banana. So what I like to do is to cut off the very top of the banana, so about an inch down, and just go ahead and expose the actual banana, but leaving on the bottom portion of the peel as a little handle for him to hold on to because the banana itself is really slippery. And then I'll go ahead and prep some blueberries. These are a possible choking hazard in its original shape and size. So I'm just gonna go ahead and smash those to make them easier for him to eat on. Okay, so now Sammy is going to enjoy his lunch. And for those of you wondering, we are using the OXO Tot Bibs. I really like these bibs because they are not silicone all over. They just have the silicone little pocket um, in the bib, but the actual top of it is just like a fabric material, which I feel like is a little bit more comfortable for him instead of having that silicone up against his neck, especially in our climate. It gets really hot here in Arizona and we do keep our air conditioning on, but I just feel like that silicone would just feel nasty on his skin because sometimes he eats you know, without a shirt on. So I really like this bib. And the high chair that he is using is an Eddie Bauer high chair. It has a wooden base um, and it looks really nice. It goes really well with our kitchen. So I like that it has like that nice aesthetic to it. And uh, my sister purchased this for us for our baby shower and so far we've been really pleased with it. It's not exactly the easiest to clean all the time, but I'll go ahead and take it for what it is because I actually really like the high chair. So 
So later on in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and touch on all the different reasons why we chose baby led weaning over purees. But I just wanted to start off with just talking about how much we love baby led weaning. It has been wonderful. We have had a really good experience with it. It's honestly one of my favorite parenting decisions that we've made so far. We love sitting down with him um, and eating meals together. He absolutely loves when we get to all sit down together and have dinner together or breakfast or lunch and he loves going out to restaurants and trying different foods and honestly as a mom I think that it's nice that I get to have hot meals again because I'm not sitting there spoon feeding him and he just gets to enjoy the food on his own terms and he gets to just hold it and look at it and feel it and smell it and he gets to do it all on his own and I think he likes that feeling of being like a big boy and having his meal time. Okay, so really quickly, I just wanted to touch on water. Um, Sammy does have water with his meals. I think that it's a good idea to help him wash it down. So what we do is we limit him to two ounces a day, which I believe is the um, WHO and AAP recommendations. So I just help him with the sippy cup um, because he hasn't quite gotten that yet, but he does drink water with his meals. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and prep dinner. So what I'm doing is I'm just squeezing in some lemon into some tricolor quinoa that I boiled and adding in some parsley and some finely minced red onion. This is one of Sammy's favorite meals. Today we're actually having dinner out at a pizza restaurant and I just really don't want him to have pizza. So I wanted to have his dinner here at home before we went out to the restaurant and he absolutely loves this. What he really likes for me to do is go ahead and smash up an avocado and mix in the quinoa into the avocado and it just makes like a paste kind of and um, what I do is I go ahead and spoon feed that to him and he really enjoys this meal and honestly I really like it too like I have tried it and it is absolutely delicious and it has been some of our favorite meals to have we've been having it honestly every single day because it is that good And also I steamed some broccoli um, off camera. So he will be eating his broccoli with his quinoa. And I know that some of the hardcore baby led weaning parents are going to give me slack and shun me for spoon feeding Sammy because according to baby led weaning, you are not supposed to spoon feed your baby because you're supposed to let them do it themselves. But honestly, this is just too messy for me to handle. I have let him have quinoa on his own and have found it in his ears and in his diaper and I just really don't want to do that today. So I'm just going to spoon feed it to him and it's perfectly fine. He's still self-feeding the broccoli, which I still think is giving him that advantage. So we're okay with that and that's what works for us. So like I mentioned earlier, I am going to touch on the top three reasons why we chose baby led weaning over purees. So let's jump right into that. So the first reason was that we liked the idea that he was going to learn how to chew before swallowing. We felt that this was an important skill for him to learn and typically a baby who eats purees is not going to have that skill because they are instinctively just going to swallow it because there's nothing for them to chew. So we just felt that that was an important skill for him to learn early on in life. So the second reason that we chose this track was because we liked the idea that he was going to have sensory play with his food. We do sensory activities and play outside of the kitchen so it only seemed fitting that we were going to do sensory play with food and this is just a really natural way to have that sensory activity with feeling different textures and slimy and cool and hot and squishy and you know tough or this you know, broccoli is really textured and he really enjoys that. So that was a big thing for us that we really liked about him having this type of food. I also caught a really cute moment here. He's actually playing peekaboo with my husband. Um, he came home early and was hiding in the glass door outside playing peekaboo with him. And it ended up being a really cute moment that we caught on camera.
So the final reason and honestly the most important reason for me was because we don't always have the opportunity to travel the world but we can expose ourselves to different cultures and cuisines through food and I think that that is just something that's incredible and unique about our the country that we live in in America that we have all these different cultures right at our fingertips through the food that we eat and I love that he can do that with us and me and my husband are big foodies and I just love that he is going to have you know all these different adventures through food and through playing with food All right guys, so that is it for today. This is what my baby eats typically in a day. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please like this video if you are doing baby led weaning or if you have questions, go ahead and leave those down in the comments below. I'll make sure to put links to all of the items that I talked about in the video in the description below. Please remember to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!